And what you're looking at is a graph of y equals f of x. It's made up of straight lines and one semicircle, although it's a pretty poorly drawn semicircle. And big f of x equals the accumulation function. So this means that the graph we're looking at is the derivative of big f of x. And so we can ask quite a few questions about this. This is all, well, these are all integer values. The first question we might ask is, what is f of 0? That means we're really asking, what is the integral from 0 to 0 of f of t dt? And since we're not accumulating any area, the answer would be 0. We could also ask, what is f of 2? And that's the integral from 0 to 2 of f of t dt. And that will be this quarter of a circle here. So the radius of the circle is 2. So the area of the full circle, pi r squared, pi r squared would be um, 4 pi. And a quarter of that would just be pi. If we ask about f of 4, what we're asking about is what is the integral from 0 to 4? Or how much area have we accumulated in that region? That's the entire semicircle, which would be 2 pi. Right. Another question along these lines is what is the integral, what is f of negative 3? Which means we want to know what is the integral from 0 to negative 3 of f of t dt which means we want to know what's the opposite of the integral from negative 3 to 0 of f of t dt. Well, from negative 3 to 0, what we have is, mark it as best I can in red, we have this little triangle down here and this trapezoid here. So this little triangle appears, I'm going to assume that that's going through halfway. So its base is one half, its height is two, so the area of that object is one half, and it would be negative because it's below the axis. And this trapezoid, well, one base is one and the other base is two and a half, so the sum of the bases is 3.5. The height of that is 2, and half the height would be 1. So the area of that is 3 and a half. And if we accumulate all of that area together, that would be 3. And since we want the opposite of this, we get negative 3. Another question we could ask, given the scenario, is what is f prime of 4? Well, since the graph we're looking at is just the graph of the derivative of f, we can see that the, when the input is 4, the output is 0. And we're looking right there. So f prime of 4 would be 0. And we can go on and ask all sorts of questions about this graph, reasoning through it all. So that's the accumulation function, and then this function is what we're going to end up using to reconcile derivatives and integrals together.